Have you ever been in the middle of something and suddenly felt a strange sensation in your chest? Maybe a tightness, a pressure or maybe a slight pain? Now don't just brush it off because today we are diving into a subject that is not just close to your heart but literally about your heart. I am talking about heart attack friends. And don't worry because it is not as gloomy as it sounds. Because believe it or not, our bodies often give us little clues, early signs that something is not right. And if we know what to look for, we can act quickly and save not only our lives, but also our loved ones. So grab a cup of tea, make yourself comfortable and stay with me as we unravel the mysteries of the human heart. Together, we will explore the early signs of a heart attack and learn how to recognize them because uh, in a moment of crisis, seconds can make all the difference. Alright my friends, let's get to the heart of the matter, quite literally. When we think of a heart attack, the immediate image that might pop into our minds is someone clutching their chest in pain. But did you know that it's not like that, it's more complex and a lot of other symptoms can also pop up. Now imagine a squeezing sensation or a feeling of fullness, almost like someone is pushing down on your chest. That's what we often associate with the heart attack symptoms. But remember, it's not always a sharp pain. Sometimes it's more subtle. And here's something interesting. Men and women both might experience it differently. Men often describe it as a pressure or squeezing, while women might feel a burning sensation. And according to the American Heart Association, women sometimes might not feel a pain or a chest discomfort at all. Now let's move on to some sneaky symptoms. Ever felt short of breath without any apparent reason? Or maybe a sudden onset of fatigue or lightheadedness? Believe it or not friends, these might be early signs of a heart issue. I know it's surprising and these signs and symptoms are often overlooked. But studies have shown that paying attention to these subtle clues can make a big difference in early intervention and diagnosis of a heart disease. Now hold on tight because we are not done yet. How about jaw pain, back pain or nausea or even breaking out in a cold sweat? Yes, you heard me right. These two can be indicators of a heart problem. Don't just take my word for it, medical studies back this up too. The more we understand these signs, the better prepared we will be. You see, the heart has its own language and it's our job to understand what it is trying to tell us. So my dear friends, now that we have uncovered these early signs, what's next? Stay with me as we explore the risk factors and ways to keep that beautiful heart of yours beating strong. After all, it's not just about knowledge, it's about taking action. Shall we continue? So now we know the signs, but what puts us at risk in the first place? And more importantly, what we can do to protect ourselves? It's like knowing the weather forecast. It's good to know that it is going to rain, but it's even better to carry an umbrella, right? Let's dive into the risk factors and the preventive measures we can take. Imagine your heart as a car engine. Certain things can cause fear and tear, and over time, it may break down. Risk factors are like the bumps and potholes on the road. Some we can avoid, some we can't. But awareness is the key. First, we have got obesity. It's like carrying extra luggage. The heart has to work harder for that. Then there is high blood pressure, the silent culprit that can stress your heart without you even knowing about it. And don't forget about smoking. If the heart is an engine, think of smoking as putting sand into the fuel tank. These are just a few examples, friends, and according to the World Health Organization, there are more. Understanding these risks is our first line of defense against any heart disease, so it is our duty to understand these risk factors and avoid them as much as possible. So what's the umbrella for your heart's rainy day? It's prevention, my friends, and it's simpler than you might think. Eating right, staying active, keeping stress at bay, and yes, those regular medical checkups, all these things are the umbrella for protection against heart disease. Think of them as your heart's maintenance schedule. Guidelines from various heart health organizations encourage these practices and guess what? They work. And let's not forget if you are on a medication for blood pressure or any other condition, taking them as prescribed is crucial. Think of it as the fine tuning that keeps your heart running smoothly. 
You see, protecting your heart is not a mysterious science. It's more about conscious choices and taking charge of your health. And trust me, your heart will thank you for that. So here we are at the end of our journey through the heart's hidden signals, the roadblocks and of course the paths to a healthier life. But friends, I'm just a guide. If you feel something is not right, something is uh, happening inside your heart, inside your chest, it is always a good idea to consult a healthcare professional, consult your doctor and go for a checkup. With that said, this is Dr. Salim signing off. Stay healthy, Hamesha. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such heart and other health related videos. I will see you again in the next video.